I'm back here with another video today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, refurbishing this here Dell Latitude E6520 so without further ado let's go ahead and let's get into it I got this Hitachi drive here I'm just going to lay it to the side it's a 160 gigabyte I believe this one here yeah it's missing a screw but luckily i got screws right here this here and this here and this here this right here is for the uh keyboard so we go ahead and we'll take those on out so now i'm uh, removing the base screws let's see if we can Pile up on this here. Let's remove this. You really don't have to, but I'm going to just try to make life a little bit easier. By the way, this right here is my first time uh, opening this here and all that. Uh, need to find somewhere to put this here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take out this um, this here uh, heat sink I got all the screws out so what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to remove this Suncon um, heat sink All right, so you just want to lift up and you want to pull this here out, this slide it out. I forget about this wire. You got to just unplug it like that. And that's the thermal paste. So right now what I'm going to do is, is I'm about to go ahead and I'm going to blow out this uh, here. So let's go ahead and let's get that cleaned up. Yank out this keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this bezel out from here. All you wanna do is this, you wanna pull out. Just pull it out like that. I don't know if there's three or four uh, screws holding this here down. Damn, this keyboard was really in there. Lift up on this tab here. There you go. So for those that's wanting to know the part number, there you have it right there. Just stop and pause the video. Right now what I'm doing is I'm going to take one of these here uh, thermal pads very carefully. Lay it down like that. I want to uh, take some of my Arctic Silver 5 and I'm going to apply just a little bit on the processor. Alright now to install this you want to just take it and you just want to Slide it in like that. Smooth as butter. Alright, so we're going to start with uh, one, which is right here. Don't screw it all the way down just yet. So now 
out. The fun part is getting this here plugged back in. This right here is the caddy. So to uh, install this caddy here, here's the bottom of your hard drive. If you look real close, you got like that little hooky thing right there. See it right there? You just take that right there and you want to connect that into a little hole. And then now we need to put in our screw. You just want to hold this very carefully. All right, then you're going to take that, get the screw started like that there. I'm glad I had this caddy uh, in stock. There you have it. So you just take this here, slide her on up in there like that. Voila. So there you have that. I'll show you what it looks like installed. And yep, I will be putting, uh, I may have some memory in my shop. Did you see there's no keyboard? Now you see that I have a keyboard for this laptop. I'm doing this right here for myself and others that's wanting to know the Dell part number. What you want to do is, is you want to take this here. You want to take this uh, ribbon cable, and you want to you want the blue to be facing up. So take the ribbon cable, and you gotta slide it up in there, just ever so slightly, and you push until you can't go no more. Lock it back down, and there you are. All right, you see these notches here, 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 and here. Now, if you look real close, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but give me a pointing tool right here. Y'all didn't see that, but right here, here, here. And over here, which is not picking up on that side of where, but you, but you just want to take, and you just want to slide that up in there like that. Alrighty, very carefully, you want to uh, press down. On the side, all right. Press down here, be very careful. Alrighty, uh, yeah, you want to start like this. This is flow track. If y'all can make that out, yeah, there we go, right here and all the way over there. Uh, you can see that sticky residue to remove this here. What I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna start by doing that right there. All right. So here's the sticky residue from here to over here. All right. So what I'm doing is, is I'm using this piece of tape to help release some of the uh, stickiness from this here, I'm probably gonna have to get another piece. 
and pour me a little bit of rubbing alcohol on this here. Now, I'm going to do that like that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay that to the side. See, look at that right there. <laughs> I'm going to take this. And look at that. About gone. We all know what this is, right? Everybody likes coffee. Coffee. Alrighty. Well, I so happen not to like coffee. I just like the coffee filters. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. 91% rubbing alcohol. Pour a little bit on here like so. 